Looking for a real estate market update just about single family homes? Good news, this video will cover that and I'll be providing you with some information you won't see anywhere else, including some exciting news. Hang on to the end to see a heat map with how prices are changing in different areas of Marin. So let's get to it. Okay, this information is going to be amazing. Instead of just giving you the price change for only the single family homes that sold, I'll be providing the price change for the median value of all single family homes in Marin. This is truly game changing because in Marin, monthly price changes based on just the homes that sold are skewed by high or low prices. And because there are not that many sales each month here, the stats aren't really statistically significant. However, the extra numbers that I'll be showing, I'll do the old ones too, but these ones will reflect the median value change of all single family homes in Marin, giving you a much clearer comprehensive view of the market. Plus, I'll have that heat map information too at the end of this video. Super interesting stuff. Oh, and by the way, I'm Carrie Hill, lawyer turned realtor. And if you're looking to buy or sell a house in Marin, I love to help people just like you make a smart move. Also, if you want an instant home evaluation, one that you just type your home in and the answer pops out, and I'm not talking a lousy thing like Zillow, I have that free tool that provides just that. You just put in your address and voila, your estimated value appears. And it's not one of those Zillow estimates. They're not very good. Look for the link in the description below or email me with the subject line, home valuation. Let's start with the single family homes that sold during June. There were 181 single family homes that sold. So if you saw my Marin County stats from a couple of weeks ago, which said that there were 217 homes sold, you now know that 36 of those homes were not single family homes. So they were condos, townhouses, manufactured homes, or multi-housing like duplexes, triplexes, etc. If you saw that video, you also know that I highlight how many homes sold above, at, or below list price, and by how much below or above, leading me to conclude if the market is weakening or strengthening. June's stats pointed to weakening. And if you missed that video, no worries. You can still get it, complete with addresses in my monthly email newsletter. You won't find that information anywhere else. If you'd like a copy, just email me with the subject line newsletter. Okay, let's get to the charts. Okay, the first thing you're gonna see here, this is new for this video, which is that I now have this calculation of really just where we are sitting in terms of being a seller's market, where sellers control most of what's going on versus a buyer's market where sellers generally are struggling to sell their homes and they're often lowering their prices. Okay, so we've been in a very, very strong seller's market for years. And as you can see, this little uh, arrow here has moved down the line. So it is starting to shift to a more balanced market. And then maybe it will become a buyer's market. And here's the information for single family homes having to do with the light green bars being all the homes that are on the market right now, the dark green bars being the ones that sold, and the red line are the homes that are pended, so the ones that are in contract right now. Of interest in single family homes, the for sale homes, which is, I'm sorry, you can't see the tab right there, but that's basically the inventory of the market. It was down in June. 11.7% from May. But when you compare that to the same month a year ago, inventory is up 54.6%. That is very significant. And it's also up 54.6% when you compare the same quarter this year to the same quarter last year. Now we're gonna look 
at the five year situation for inventory. You all know we need more inventory if you wanna have more choices for buyers and potentially put some pressure on the high prices that we have and the affordability problem. Five years gives us context. So here's five years and you can see right here on this bar that our inventory isn't as high as it was last month, but overall it's much higher than it was last year. So we're definitely improving overall like every month and quarter. Days on market is another good tool to trying to decide what the market's doing and days on market has been going up the last three months. So it does appear that it's harder for our sellers to sell those homes and you can also see that this red line up here this is the percentage of the sale price over the original price so now that we're at 96 percent that means that homes are selling mostly below the list price so again both of those suggest a weakening market and here's those numbers for the last five years and you can see that hey most of the time days on market are about what they are now outside of say the real normal market in 2019 those were all quite a bit higher but ever since then well okay they're a little bit higher here in 2020 but they're not that far off the mark you know these peaks right here that always happens around christmas time so you don't have to pay a bunch of attention to that because it's just a seasonal situation by the way if you want to see all the numbers on this or that is important to you i'm not going through them because of the general direction is all i'm looking at here but they're right down here so this is days on market and this was the red line the sold over the original price and uh, i know they're hard for you to see they're probably really small but you could probably zoom in a bit pause the video and take a look at those numbers and by the way if you like immediate notification about off-market homes that you can't see on Zillow, look for the link in the description below or email me with the subject line coming soon. Also, look for my videos on the same topic. And now we're on to price per square foot. Interesting that this number did go up uh, month over month because I'm pretty sure for all of Marin it went down. And right across the bottom with all these stats, you can see that they're all up. Uh, not up a lot, but they are all up with the weakest one being the month over month number. This one to that. And here's the five year context. Yeah, definitely prices are still pretty high on the single family homes for per price per square foot. But remember, I'm going to show that chart at the end of this video that talks about the heat map. And you're gonna see that some places in Marin are a lot stronger than other places in Marin. And that's likely to factor into your thinking about what's going on. Okay, now we are to the sold prices, which is the red line down here. The green line are the asking prices. I don't tend to pay too much attention to those because first of all, they include those like $50 million properties and really skew everything up. Uh, the general line is kind of interesting though, whether it's going down and it is going down. So this one, interestingly enough, even though price per square foot was up, the number went down when you're talking about the average sold price, which is what this is. And the amount that it went down is 1.1% from last month. However, the other numbers were still up, as you can see here on the bottom. And how's that look for the last five years? Well, kind of like a mess, right? Uh, let's just focus on the red line here. What we can see, if you get to the very end of the line, you see that little dip that it made in June. Uh, it's probably a good idea to compare that over the last five years. So let's just take this and go down here to this price. So there are some points where the prices have been higher, as you can see. But if that line continues down, we could get into this area and that would be more like prices from 2021. Again, if you wanna see them, all the numbers, the uh, sold price homes here are on the bottom. Sorry, you can't, you can't see the tab there. Um, the ones above these numbers are uh, the average price that people are asking. Okay, here are the median prices that sold for single family homes. And you can see that that also went down just like the average price. So the only thing up here is price per square foot. And it wasn't very much. 
but weakening in both these numbers again is a good thing for buyers in the future not so good for sellers if it continues that actual number though is only down 0.6 percent month over month and it's still showing up 4.4 and up 2.3 on the longer term and here are the bars for the median sold price for the last five years. And you can see we are still quite high when you look across here, but not as high as we've been. And we're not that far from approaching the prices of 2021. Wouldn't that be great for buyers? Okay, here is my new chart that I've never had before, but I'm now always gonna show from here on out. And this is the median value of all single family homes in Marin. So instead of just having the data from the sold homes, this data set comes from those homes that sold and then adjusting all the home prices around each actual home that sold to readjust the entire number for Marin, thereby providing a much more accurate picture. This shows, interestingly enough, that prices were actually up 2.8% from May to June. Fascinating, right? Because that's the opposite of what we just saw from month to month for the median and the average sold prices. But this is the big deal here, which is that 12 month change, it's down minus 1%. So see, the overall market is actually getting weaker. And that is not what we can tell by the other factors that don't register home value, but only home sales. And here is the heat map that I am so excited to show you because this reflects what I see out there as a realtor. What you can see over here is this is a 12 month change estimate value. So it's based on that like minus 1% that we just saw, but some places went up in Marin and some places went down in Marin. Having this information is amazing. Okay, so you could see here that anything that's highlighted in this kind of bluey purple, that was up 11.8%. And the opposite of that is things that are dark red were down 25% to down 6.9%. Okay, so yes, that's quite a spread right there. That's your first grain of salt. Also, you'll wanna think about where this occurs. So for example, one of the dark red is Nicasio. But Nicasio can be made up of properties on very small lots and properties that are on 100 acres. So there's always gonna be a really wide range. Plus, not that many homes sell in Nicasio because there just aren't that many, even though this looks geographically huge, there aren't very many houses in there. So even with the whole year's numbers, Nicasio is going to be skewed by both the insignificance of the statistics, because there's just not enough for it to be statistically significant, as well as the fact that the properties can range quite a bit in value. That being said, okay, so it showed up red. Other places that showed up red are this area of San Rafael. Again, there are some properties in here that can have as much variability. And there's a lot of locations in that red part there that are not highly populated. But you can see that's a slightly darker red. And there also are some very pricey houses in that area. So things can get skewed for that reason too. So you can look around this map and see that, you know, as it goes up into, uh, it's almost like white before it's even. So you can see what I see, which is that prices in Tiburon are down. And that prices in Sausalito are down, you know, ones with water views. And prices are down in Kentfield and in Greenbrae and this whole area which includes San Anselmo. Now this is where most of our homes actually are. So what's going up? What's creating that price pressure that looks like houses have been going up? And that would be the Corte Madera area. That has had higher prices and I've seen that as an agent. There are houses in Corte Madera that, well, frankly, I'm shocked. They are selling as high as they are. So this has just become a more of a hot spot for people. Plus, a lot of homes in Corte Madera have now been upgraded to that contemporary look that buyers do want and they pay more for. So that may be driving the prices there as well. Maybe there's a lot more flippers or people who got the general gist that you need to upgrade these older houses and that's driving the prices up. 
Another area that's up is along the beach area and in the hills here, not very many homes there. So I'm not really sure that that's a statistically significant thing. Other than the Stinson Beach ones, I do know, again, in the last couple of years, they have been hugely up, which is interesting given that they're gonna have some sea rise problems. But in any event, um, that's what it shows on this heat map as well. Also of interest is that the homes up here in Novato above Belmarin Keys have also been going up. I have always thought that was going to happen because as people realize they don't have to go to work in San Francisco, they can notice that Novato is a pretty awesome place to live. And if there's more people who want to live there, prices are generally going to be pushed up. So in any event, if you want to take a little bit more of the information in by this, uh, just stop the, the video and look at it or rewind it or something so that you can see more about this. Oh, and one more thing that I forgot to tell you, sorry, this is very important. This heat map here is not just single family homes. I can't get it in just single family homes. So this includes all residential housing. So condos and townhouses too. Sorry about that, but it's just not available. If you want to see information only about the condos and townhouses, I'll be dropping that video probably by next week. Subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss it. Hey, and again, if you want to keep seeing this information, subscribing really helps motivate me to keep doing it. And Baxter appreciates it too. And here are some other videos about Marin County. Well, at least they should be showing right now. Thank you for watching and have a great day.